Hello, good evening. A mother who murdered her little boy was today sentenced to life and must serve a minimum of 28 years in jail. At Cardiff Crown Court today, Ang Harrod Williamson sobbed as the judge told her, you have never shown any remorse for your actions. Along with her partner, John Cole, and a teenage boy named for the first time today as Craig Mulligan, she was convicted of the murder of her son, five-year-old Logan Wangi, whose beaten body was found at the River Ogmore near their Bridgend home. Our reporter Hamish Auskerry joins us now. And Hamish, uh, we've learned more this afternoon about the teenager involved. Yes, John, for the very first time, we can identify the third of Logan Mwangi's killers. 14-year-old Craig Mulligan was 13 at the time. John Cole occupies a stepfather-like relationship in his life. He had spent time in care, but John Cole had won custody of him. He moved into the family home, and five days later, Logan Mwangi's body was found dead in the River Ogmore. That was portrayed as anything but a coincidence in court. During the trial, witnesses said they heard Craig Mulligan threatening to kill Logan whilst he was in care. Today, he received a sentence of 15 years in uh, custody. For the very first time, we can show you part of an ITV documentary showing Craig Mulligan denying any involvement in Logan's death alongside John Cole. Is there anything you'd like to add or offer? Yeah, can you tell my mum to f off for me? Why is that? Because she's blaming me and my dad for everything when we haven't done anything, neither has my dad. Now, I'm just sick of this. She's just saying whatever she wants to get out of the cells. For the very first time, we can also show you new pictures of the pair who dehumanised Logan with their treatment, Ang Howard Williamson and John Cole. Mrs Justice Jefford said that by treating him uh, the way they did, they had dehumanised him. The judge said that Cole and Craig Mulligan had uh, perpetrated the violent assault on him, but that that couldn't have happened without the full knowledge and collusion of Ang Harrod Williamson. John Cole will serve a minimum of 29 years. Ang Harrod Williamson will serve 28 years in prison. After all the evidence we've heard in this long trial, it was striking to hear the judge's comments today uh, summarising this case. She said the injuries inflicted on Logan were nothing short of horrifying. Well, uh, let's return now to Cardiff Crown Court. Uh, Hamish, uh, while the events uh, of the courtroom are, are making the headlines today, there is still a family and a community uh, in Saar near Bridgend grieving uh, for their loss. Well, yes, firstly, we heard a victim impact statement read on behalf of Ben Mwangi, Logan's biological father. It was a very difficult listen in court this morning. Ben Mwangi says he still experiences very vivid nightmares about Logan, where he comes to him saying he's OK, but as the nightmare progresses, he drifts further away and out of his arms, leaving Ben Mwangi waking up screaming and crying. In Bridgend, too, there are many people who have been affected by Logan's death, and for the very first time, we can hear from Rhiannon Hales. She was once the best friend of Ang Harrod Williamson. Her children were friends with Logan. They played together. They went to school together. The trauma of everything that they've been through has been too much for her to speak publicly before. But what you're about to hear is her voice with her personal tribute to Logan Mwangi. Dear Logan, we miss you. Your smile, your bright big eyes, your laughter and your silliness. Rhiannon Hales knew Logan Mwangi better than most. Her family and his were intertwined. Classmates, neighbours, friends. She's never before felt able to talk publicly about the five-year-old's tragic death, the pain all too raw. Instead, she's written this tribute, addressed directly to Logan. School mornings haven't been the same without your hugs to start the day watching you love and play with my girls. You have never really left us. Your photos are all in our home and the love we have keeps you with us. On the notice boards at Tondi Primary School, there's a permanent reminder of Logan's life. A poem sits alongside his carefree and happy school picture. Some of Logan's best days were spent in this playground. 
He was a wonderful little boy, very, very happy all the time, smiling, chatty, bright, and he was loved by everybody. What kind of a personality was he like in this playground in your school? Lovely. He was absolutely delightful. He loved Mud and Welly Wednesday. Um, he would play Superman. He liked hiding. He was really popular. Just a lovely, lovely little boy. The scars of Logan's death are still etched on everyone who knew him. To help with the grief, the school has built a memorial garden in his honour. The children now can remember Logan, but also if they've lost a loved one as well, they can put something in the memorial garden, which they do. There's some, something, somebody lost someone recently, and if they lose a pet or something like that, it's a way of them having something to remember and good memories. Do you feel that now that the trial's finished, the verdict's delivered, the sentence is delivered, that there can be a sense of closure? That's what we're hoping for. Losing a child is a devastating thing because we, we get so close to our children. They, they are part of our family, so um, we're working through it. We're supporting each other. We will get through it, but it will take a long time. Logan's death still casts a long shadow on this tight-knit community in Sun. A little boy beaten to death in his own home by the very people in his life there to protect him. He needs me. He needs he warm needs clothes. He needs mum. And then in the middle of the night, his body discarded like rubbish in the River Ogmore. Even for experienced prosecutors and police, the details of Logan's murder will be hard to forget. The situation is very traumatic. When you see a cold, calculated murder of this nature, it does impact on people, there's no doubt about that. People are trained to deal with that. Um, in this particular instance, the case became difficult because not only had these people committed a horrific crime against the defenceless five-year-old child, but then uh, conspire together to dump that body in a river, lie to the police by phoning them to try and put them off their tracks, continued those lies in interview, which meant uh, they were blaming each other and the picture of what actually had happened was really difficult to ascertain. Rhiannon Hales and her children were loyal friends to Logan's family. They are victims too. The lies, the cover-up, and then the awful truth are still sinking in. She and her children have been helped with counselling, but it will take longer than a year to come to terms with all they've endured. Myself, your family and the community will always keep your memory around and will not let people forget your little face. I wish everyone knew how amazing you were and I wish you could have grown into the amazing man I knew you'd have become. A hole you have left in mine and so many others' lives will be never filled and it kills me knowing we will never get to see your face again. Forever in our hearts, gorgeous boy, may your star shine brighter than the rest. I love you. Hamish, throughout this case, questions have been asked about what part other authorities like social services uh, played in the tragedy. Uh, the criminal case is now over. What other uh, investigations are ongoing? Well, yes, John, even with the naming of Craig Mulligan today, there is still much we can't yet say until uh, what's called a, uh, a child practice review is completed by the Kumtov Montganog uh, uh, Safeguarding uh, Board. There have been, as you say, all sorts of questions about the role of social services in Logan's death, but officials can't answer on any specifics until that review has been completed. I did, though, ask the uh, leader of Bridgen Council what work was being done to ensure that what happened to Logan won't happen to anyone else. An independent child practice review is already underway and there are already improvements that have been made to services locally. That review will assess the role of all agencies, including everyone who's involved in the lives of, of, of children uh, across the county borough. 
Now, over and above that uh, localised review, the Welsh Liberal Democrats have called for a national review of uh, child uh, protection across Wales. That's already happened in England after some recent cases of awful uh, child cruelty. But so far, the Welsh Government have refused, saying it's not the right time and they'll await the results of the review in Bridgend. The NSPCC says that that re- Bridgend review uh, must leave no stone un- t- unturned. We await uh, that review to publish in the autumn of this year, but for now, the criminal part of the investigation into Logan Mwangi's death has reached its final conclusion. Hey, Michelle Scary at Cardiff Crown Court, thank you.